Do what it be what it is YouTube. All right, I got some catfish in this bag. We're gonna try to cut them up, show you a way of cooking them up, and maybe do another video of a different way of cooking them up later. We're gonna cut them up, get ourselves about six fillets. Let's get them out on the table, show you what it looked like, show you what the fillets look like, show you what I'm gonna do with them. All right, all right, there goes our first one. Let me cut it into some fillets. All right, we got our number two. Got a couple fillets over here. And they kind of mangled them up a little bit. So, let's get this one done. All right, and this will be our third fish. Our last fillets came out much better. Much better looking. Uh, it's been a while since I filleted a fish, so. Got some nice fillets, nice thick fillets off those last ones. Soaking them in some salt water here. All right, let's get this last one done. All right, these last two fillets came out much better. There's our last fleece. And our medium middle fleece. And then you can tell which one was the first fillet. That one got mangled. This one just, I don't even know what happened to that one. But there goes our fish. These two right here. We're gonna cook these up in this video for a catch and cook. The rest of these, these are all gonna get put in baggies and all the air sucked out of them, put in the freezer for a meal for later. Yeah, you get a piece too, man. All right, let's show you what we're gonna do with this meat to get it ready. We're gonna put this in some milk. Let's get our milk in our little pot and set it in the fridge overnight. All right, well here goes a piece of meat. And there goes a piece of meat. Fits perfectly in here. And we're just gonna put some milk over them. Just so they're submerged. All right. And these will sit in the fridge overnight. And this milk, surprisingly enough, you know how catfish have a lot of fishy flavor to them? This milk will take all that fishy flavor out. So, let me get it in the fridge, and uh, let me get these put in baggies to show you how I do that. Alright, these two smaller ones, we're going to take them put them in a food saver bag. And that way we'll keep them nice and fresh. Caught today, bagged up, and put in the freezer today. Let me put this down like, oh, got that little sliver. I'm going to cut this one up and to make nuggets, maybe for another video. Alright, so take this part. Alright, we got our sealed, packaged fish for the freezer. All right, let's get these last two pieces of fish up in here. Got this piece right here. Put that up in there. Just got a nice big one up in there. There we go. Got our pieces of fish in here. Now I got two meals for later for the freezer. All right, well in the morning, after we get the, eh, I'll probably wait till about lunchtime, and then we'll let this uh, catfish sit in that milk until then. Then I'm gonna show you how to cook it up. 
one of the ways I like. Let me show you. Well, what it do, what it be, what it is, YouTube. It is the next day, and we got our chicken. We're taking it out of the milk, put it back in another salt bath for just a little bit. It's only been in there for about five minutes. So then we're going to take the moisture off of them, get a little bit of seasoning on them, put some beans on, and then get them cooking. So let's get up close view, see what's going on. First things first, before we even start dealing with the fish, let's get our, our beans running. Those running, put those on medium high. And then the next thing we want to do is put a little bit of oil on this pan and get it heating up. That should be enough oil right there. Get that heated up. We're going to turn that one up. All right, we'll wait for that to get hot while we set up the fish. All right, so let's get these pieces. Lays nice and dried off. It's pretty good right there. This piece dried off. These two fillets are looking real good. This out of the way. I'm gonna use two seasonings. I'm gonna use the the Lowry's uh, season salt because I just love the flavor of that. A nice little generous amount. Then I'm gonna use the steak seasoning, which is actually really nice for Oklahoma uh, Omaha steaks. Got a brand new bottle. And then we'll season the other side with the same seasonings after it's in the pan. So let's let this oil heat up and then we'll get it in the pan. All right, our beans are nice and steamy. Do a little spread of water in there. Just a little drop and it's boily, so we're gonna get these pieces of fish up in here real quick. Ooh, there's our first play. And there goes the second. While we let that cook up, we're gonna make a little sauce here. Just uh, some plastic sweet relish. One and two. All right. Got some yellow mustard, always good. And we got some Frank's Red Hot. We'll put some, that's good. A few drops up in there. And we want to get some just for mail. One and two. And we'll mix this up. And we got a nice sauce here. All right, let's see if they're ready to flip. That looks pretty darn good. Give these a couple minutes. Oh, something I forgot to do before I flipped them over. That's no good. I want my seasoning. Put some, uh, Seasoning 
Give that a minute or two, and then it should be done. All right. Looking like our beans are nice and hot and finished up. And I think our our catfish, blue catfish, is nice and cooked up. Oh, just ripped that piece in the two. All right. Save these little pieces right here. My pit bull will love that. Give her a little snack too. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, let's give it a taste test. Well, this meal looks delicious. This catfish looks like it came out. Perfect. Got my sauce here and got me some beans. We're gonna dig right on into this and see how it goes. Mmm. Right there. Taste it without it. Mmm. I was surprisingly better than I thought it was gonna be. Mmm. Mm. That sauce is banging. I didn't even put any lemon or uh, lime or anything on here. Just the seasoning you saw, no butter, no nothing. Mmm. Delicious. Let me tear into this and I'll be back with you when I'm finished. Finish up these beans, uh, get back with y'all. That's a rather good meal right there. It's hard to want to go into out of the grocery store right now. But to go fishing on the bank, that ain't hard to want to do. So Go out, get you a five, seven pound blue catfish, get you a nice channel catfish, cook it up. Maybe I'll show you another way of cooking it, maybe another day. Um, but this turned out delicious. So uh, until next time, y'all get it right, get it tight. I'll holla at y'all later. I found my boy Charlie. He actually lives with me. He lives on the bottom floor. We have a split three-level house, and he stays on the bottom floor. But he has any he does not like fish. How, how much are you into fish? You smell fish and you want to <laughs> run away? I'm good. I don't like All right. So if this catfish is delightful enough that he might want to finish that whole thing, or just take more than one bite, then uh, I think it might be worthy. So uh. Let's see what he thinks of it. Nice and flaky. See how easy that was to perfectly cooked. And a one to ten, what's the fishy flavor ratio? That's what soaking it in the milk overnight does. It takes out all the fishy flavor, which is the part that makes it disgusting to me. I don't like the fishy, fishy flavor. How about you? For fish, is it pretty good? All right. You can have the rest of that piece if you want. I just, as they saw on camera, I just tore me up a whole nice little helping of that stuff. So, he's gonna eat this up, and y'all get it right, get it tight. We'll holla at you later.